Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Tasha, and I'm coming back to give you another recap of BT Sunday Best. It's getting heated. I'm in my feelings, but before we get to that, let's go ahead and do our church announcements. I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Thank you to everybody who's been sharing this video on your social media platforms. For those that you've been retweeting um, on Twitter, I thank you so much for that. And for the new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome once, welcome twice, welcome three times in the name of the Lord, all right? Also, I want you guys to follow me on my social media on Instagram and Twitter at It's Me Tasha, all right? All right, now let's get into this competition because, baby, I think I'm just going to be in my feelings for the rest of the season, all right? I got so many people that I like, but we're doing double eliminations, so I think just... If from now on, somebody that I like is going home. Let's just go ahead and call it that, all right? First of all, we are giving tribute to Richard Smallwood on this uh, theme night tonight. So we're doing all of his songs, and he was our guest performer to start off this competition and this show tonight. Uh, Richard did his thing. You, he, go, he does no wrong. They had three altos, three sopranos, three tenors, and they killed it. Virtual platform did not miss a beat, all right? Now, the first song, I have never heard that song before, but that is a bop and I, it's now on my playlist. I think it's called Holy Holy. Yeah, I think it's called Holy Holy. I like that song. That's a pop right there, okay? And then, of course, Richard gives us his classic with um, Total Praise, and that song just resonates with everything that's going on right now. Still kills. You know, the message is great. It just ministers to your soul, and I totally enjoyed it. Now, doing Richard Smallwood songs tonight is no easy task, all right? We're talking about great lyrics, great writing, and you gotta have the great vocal abilities to go with it, because whenever somebody says, Richard Smallwood, I know what I'm getting ready to be in for. Yes, there's gonna be a move of the spirit. Yes, I'm gonna be swept off my feet. Yes, the presence is gonna be ushered in. Yes, the lyrics are gonna be great, but you are going to have some really, really good technical, classical, trained singers who are killing it, all right? And that's what happened. When you pick a Richard Smallwood um, song to do in gospel, to me, that's kind of like doing uh, a Whitney Houston song in mainstream music, okay? So you better you better do it, all right? And some of our contestants kind of struggled with that a little bit. Let's get into this competition. First up was Jamal Roberts. He did... Um, Jesus is the center of my life. And at first, I'm looking at the TV like, yo, Jamal, what's going on, baby? Just push it out. Let it come. Get, you okay? Put your head right here on my bosom. Okay, it's all right. <laughs> all right I, mean, I agree. At the end, he did a good performance. He struggled in the beginning, and I kind of felt it, but... At the, at the end, he kind of pulled it out. I think he kind of, like Erica said, he left the competition and was singing straight to Jesus. But I agree with Kelly and Jonathan. Man, you can see him struggling to be vulnerable. Jamal, you can be vulnerable with us. We family, all right? Come on now. Ain't no shame. Next up was Ashleen Cole, and she did Angels and She's consistent. She killed it. That girl is dangerous. You hear me? I enjoyed that. I, too, agree that she struggled just a little bit at the beginning of the song. You know, I was kind of trying to figure out, I was like, what is she singing? But, you know, once she got to pretty much almost like the middle of the song, Ashley was doing her thing. So I ain't had nothing, no, no worries right there, no worries. Next was my girl, Niella. Now, Niella came out, and I might be saying her name wrong. I think I am. But she did um, I've Got Something, and it was okay. It wasn't her best performance, but this is how I feel about this. That's not Niella's vibe. That's not her lane. Yes, we want our artists to be versatile, but if you good at one thing, I want you to shine in that one thing. And shine bright, okay? Niella is this artful, soulful, neo-soul, you know, smooth, I don't know, mysterious chick <laughs> that I think would be wonderful with her vocal abilities in the gospel realm, all right? She sounded pretty good. It just wasn't her best performance, but that's still my girl, and I'm still rocking with, all right? Next up was Miss Jada Spite, and before Jada even came on, her and her eyelashes was like, we done, we in the presence already, all right? She did A Secret Place, and that was a great song choice for her. Um, matched her voice really well. She did her thing. She was not just singing for the competition. She was singing for herself. She needed that. I feel like sometimes as an artist, I mean, I'm not an artist, but I just kind of imagine this. But, you know, artists, there's so much in the spotlight. 
when do they take the time out to be like, I need to be ministered to? Um, what do they do, you know, to make sure that they're getting that, even if they're the ones who have to perform? And I just feel like at that time, Jada was getting what she needed. And I loved it. She did great. I like seeing her in lighter clothes because her backdrop is dark. So she was kind of hiding last week. This week she was out in the forefront. She did her thing. And woo chow. Yeah, the glory was all over her. Next up was Nicole Gregory. I forgot what song Nicole did. But yeah, Nicole struggled again. And which is so weird because I really like Nicole's voice. And I feel like she just needs that one song that's going to make everybody turn around and be like, oh, okay, I did not know you had that in you. But she does. It's in there. Uh, I said this last season with um, Courtney where I need Jasmine Sullivan to be a mentor on this show. Jasmine Sullivan can pull out what, what needs to be brought out in Nicole. All right. Nicole was in her head once again. She struggled during rehearsals. Um, yeah, I just... Uh, <sighs> yeah, it is what it is, y'all. <laughs> All right. Next up is y'all boy, Marquise Harris. He did trust me. Now, you know, y'all you, know by now how I feel about Marquise. But surprise, Marquise said y'all gonna think twice about ever putting me in the bottom again. All right. I did not appreciate the beginning part. <laughs> I was really trying. Um, I forgot who I told. I think it was... Uh, Somebody commented on one of my videos last week about Marquise, and I said, I'm going to really give him a try. Um, and I did. I didn't like the beginning, but I will give it to him from the middle to the end. He brought it out. You know, he was doing his little painting and his coloring that everybody says that he does. But when he just started squalling and hollering at the, at the high parts of the song, that was it for me. I, that's what I liked. And he sounded good, and he did pretty good on that. So I'll give him half a point on that one. All right, next up, my girl, Stephanie Summers. What can you say? She came out, she did healing. It was amazing. It was great. Because I'm crazy, I kept thinking of that video with the girl who blew, almost blew herself up when she was trying to blow up her man's Jeep. Yeah, and then Anna Douglas did um, <laughs> to the video for Bomb and Gilead. Okay, we're not going to go into that. But yeah, Miss Stephanie, I love her. She did her thing, and... She's amazing. Her voice, her voice is amazing. Her voice don't really match. You look at her and you think she's going to sound one way, but she doesn't, and that's just a great thing. All right, so that's all of our contestants. They go. The judges are doing their deliberations, and I'm, you know, I'm vibing with them. I'm like, yeah, I, I think I know who should be going home, two people going home. But, you know, they didn't ask me to be a judge. Um, but the bottom three, they put in Nicole, Niella and Ashley. So I feel a little way about this because Marquise is safe. He he don't get sent home. He's been in the bottom, all right. But he he's safe. Nicole is back in the bottom, all right. Nicole's back in the bottom, and then you got Ashley and Niella. This their first time being in the bottom, you know. So, and we're doing a double elimination. Come on. So, yeah. I ain't going to get upset. They send Nicole home, which I, I agree and I understand because she would have been in my bottom two and gone home. And they sent my girl Niella home. Now, you can't really say they sent them home because they're already home. They just basically told BET to pack up their stuff and come on back to the States. Um, Listen, <laughs> yeah, I, I I think I get and understand why they sent, well, well why they you know, eliminated Ni Ni Niella, Niella. <laughs> I understand, but it was just that one song. You know what I'm saying? She's been consistent throughout the other things, and I guess they wanted her to push a little bit more and bring out a little bit more, but listen, they didn't ask me to be on the judging panel. I just give you my opinion via this video, all right? So that's what we have right now. Our top five go on to next week. Next week's going to be good. They're going to do the Acquire, Acquire, um theme for next week and that'll be fun to watch so we'll see what happens it's going to be another double elimination y'all they ain't playing okay i i feel like they should just send one person home from here on out but you know it, it, i also don't do the budget okay so um yeah two people going home it's gonna be tough because whew, i have a feeling i think i know who they're gonna send home already 
But I really hope if Marquise can do one song and change everything, the whole course of his traje uh, trajectory in this competition, that that speaks volumes, okay? I think that speaks volumes as, as, as far as what the judges are looking for and, you know, what they're trying to produce with this show and everything. But, oh, girl, yes, in my feelings, all right? Anyway, y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know how you feel. Are you in your feelings? My top five is now busted, okay, because Niella was in my top five. Um, so for me, top three definitely is, ooh, I don't know. Top three for me, Jamal, Jada, and, oh, oh Stephanie Summers. That, I think that's going to be our top three right there. Love Ashley. I'm going to buy her album no matter what happens. Um, but I think that's going to be top three. So hopefully my top three will stay put okay we will see all right i love you guys thank you so much for watching like i said make sure you leave your comments below let me know how you're feeling and i will see you guys next week peace and blessings bye